The internet is a buzz with all of the discussions from San Diego Comic Con, including but not exclusive to Warp Here, which the full cast of the TNG Bridge crew will be returning for Picard Season 3. And I've seen additional rumblings, which I thought had been put to rest, about Worf coming back some point before they had rumored um, that the cast would be back for season three and that they were concerned he wouldn't look like himself because they changed the way that the Klingons looked in Discovery. And honestly, I knew that if the character Worf returned, he would always look like himself. One, the Klingons in Discovery was like 120, 30 years in the past. The franchise, though they have made some missteps, I would say, in the last five to ten years, d depending on where you stand, this would never have been one of those mistakes. I've made a few videos about the Klingons in Discovery in the past. I will link both of those videos in the caption. But I wanted to acknowledge that they did this on purpose. Like this was not just like we want to be different and we're going to change the way the Klingons look. No, like the people writing Discovery, um, though a lot of people do not think so, they actually do care about Star Trek. And the inspiration for this comes from the episode Rightful Air where War essentially goes on pilgrimage and goes to Boras and meditates with the monks there and I will leave you with a clip from the show I hope this helps provide a bit more understanding I have returned you doubt me who here knows the story of how this sword was forged no one knows it is not written in the sacred texts I went into the mountains, all the way to the volcano at Kristat. There I cut off a lock of my hair and thrust it into the river of molten rock that poured from the summit. The hair began to burn. Then I plunged it into the lake of the saw and twisted it into this sword. And after I used it to kill Molo, I gave it a name. Bartleth, the Sword of Honor. 